so are mine. Yeah. You want that ditch? Yeah. Twins Paula and Bridget Powers yeah. live on Queensland's Sunshine Coast. Well, I love going this fast. fast. Do you? Yes, I love going fast. They're 32 and they've hardly ever been apart. There's just one time when they were 17. Only when one of us were in hospital getting our appendix out. But Bridget used to come in every visiting hours when I could. But if I was allowed to sleep there, I would have. I'll go in front first, okay? Three weeks later, Bridget too was having her appendix out. The twins share a medical history like everything else. You feel like there's something missing when yes. you're apart? Yes. And it's hard to describe that feeling. feeling. Yeah. Is it difficult for you to operate normally when you're apart? Yeah, yeah like it is, yeah. Like because we don't think, think properly, properly or... and, and we're not ourselves. Mm. We just feel down. Different. Yeah, down. But we're not as bubbly yeah. or... Mm. You can Hi, have darling. yakas today. The twins still live with their parents. They've turned the backyard into a sanctuary for injured birds. Yes. Got a nice full belly now, now, Cameron. As children, they resisted efforts to prise them apart. Um, apparently when we were little, Mum did separate us as when we were little toddlers. One stayed at Nan's place and one stayed at our auntie's. And we just, just non-stop screaming. Mm. And, and that's when we were little babies, babies. We non-stop so screaming. screaming. And so then they, when they put us back together, together we were quite happy. happy. Mm. Because I thought, well, we've got to try and make them... They were too close, too close. And I thought, well, they are two people. But as time went on, I thought two people are really one person. At school, their teachers couldn't believe it. We were in primary school. We were sitting at the same, same ta table. table and they accused Jesus us of, of cheating because they th thought, thought we were looking, looking at one another and saying doing this and doing, this and doing, doing that, that and but doing no the same way. questions. No, we'd rather die than, than cheat. So, so they um, um, split us up and, and they, they gave, gave us a different, different not, not the exactly, exactly same, same questions what we had before and... We, well, well, we came out with the same, same answers, answers and, and questions, and and they were just shocked. shocked and and they so put they us put back, back together, and they said sorry. The twins share a bedroom and a wardrobe. As, As you, you can, can see, see there's a double of everything, like these. these. Have you ever had boyfriends? No, no, no. no. But we've got each other's That's company. company. Mm. Does it worry you? No, no, no. no, no but, a, but it does worry a lot of other, other people, people we know of. Yeah. I think it will be hard. I do. I think it'll be hard. Um, I think the fellas will find it hard. You know, I'm sure that, well, I do know there's been men out there that have looked at the girls. I had one man approach me um, many years ago and he said, oh, I love them. And I said, well, you can't love both of them. You know, so, and he knew, well, he had to step away. Yeah. The twins dream of married life together. Well, no. well, well, our plan is, is probably just to next door, door to one another and have the exactly the same, same identical house, house and even our furniture will probably be, be in the, the same, same spots, spots and yeah. Yeah, or, or, or buy a creature and have built two homes. homes or have a real huge, huge big home, home and all live together. together. Now they'll all start coming now. For now, Bridget and Paula are busy. They've set up a marine animal rescue service. Yes, we do this um, probably three, three times, times a week, or if we get a call, call out. Come out. Yeah, I've got her. I know that we're two individuals, but, but we've just got the same, same interest. And yeah, we'll just check you, out you obviously don't feel like you're individual yourselves. No, no. I think we're just like one person. person. Mm. Paula and Bridget, welcome. 
Thanks for joining us. Have you always talked in unison like that? Yes, yes we, we do. do. <laughs> I can't believe it. Ever since you were tiny. Yes. Yes, we did have our own twin, twin language, language though, though when we were a little, little. and our mum and dad and our brothers and sisters, sisters didn't know what we were talking about, about or saying. Do you ever get irritated by it? Do you ever get irritated by one another finishing your sentence? Are you looking at me? No. I'm the weirdest person in the world for asking. I mean, obviously not. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we don't even notice it. it. But other people do, but we don't. <laughs> well, the other twins here do. I was looking at the, the looks on the faces of some of the other twins. Kate and Natalie, what, what did you think watching that? You're twins as well. Um, I think we're polar opposites to them yeah. because, I mean, it's not that we don't understand the bond that they feel, but it's we've just noticed because we've been surrounded by twins our entire lives that every set reacts differently. When we were younger and um, we would... Because I understand how they talk exactly at the same time because they they pretty much know everything exactly the same and that constructs how you word your sentences. And when Kate and I would have that problem, we had a saying, we just go, I'm saying this, I'm saying this. And we talk over each other when we were younger, so we wouldn't let that happen. You wouldn't let it happen. We try to separate we've your always, identity. We've um, always just, sense. I think because we had so much trouble with kids telling us apart that we've always resented it. I'm amazed by them though. I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> What do the other twins here think? What, what, what does some of the rest of you think watching that? Oh, it's, it's different. Um, I know with us, we, we're probably too competitive, so if, if I'm telling a funny story, I want to tell it where he'll probably want to tell it. So we just, as I said, we talk over each other and try and, you know, try and be the better one to tell the funny story. Mm. So, so again, there's a bit of competition in the yeah. relationship rather than wanting... Have you two ever felt no, competitive? No way, <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. No, we're not competitive with one another at all. No, obviously.